officer, now a freelance writer, editor, and editorial media consultant, and if I'm covering it, and I imagine they are, they will sell you a transcript. Uh, please, to take your concerns outside the Beltway to the American voters. And the other one I have is... Today we see that structure crumbling under an administration blinded by ideology and a callous indifference to the realities of the world around it. Never before have so many of us felt the need for a major change in the direction of our foreign policy. Negotiations on, on that issue. Because the uh, Pollyannish assumptions that were made by the administration in going in there, that we would be, uh, bouquets would be thrown at us and so forth, now we were totally unprepared for the post-combat uh, occupation. Uh, and so you see here a uh, unfolding in front of us a, a terrible uh, disaster. The Bush administration has shown that it does not grasp these circumstances of the new era and is not able to rise to the responsibilities of world leadership in either style or substance. It is time for a change. What's going to happen on the West Bank from this administration is... Uh, I think we will in time come to be very ashamed of this period in history uh, and uh, of the role that some people in the administration, I think not the president, directly, but some people in the administration played in setting the tone and setting the rules for this and other abuses of the rule of law, uh, like the, the catastrophic uh, disaster at Abu Ghraib. Oh, as the, the West Bank, it's apparently been abandoned uh, in favor of complete support. Madison Avenue and all the skills of the media, and if you don't have anything to sell, 